Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in South Homewood, just south of Dorking, just off the A24. Have been here twice before, to the church here of St Mag Mary Magdalene. I came here with Richard Vobes, and we did a comedy sketch a couple of years ago. And then we came here, we started off doing a lovely walk up into the Surrey Hills in November 2021. We started here and then went out and walked and then came back here uh, uh, as a circular. So uh, yeah, I'll link these videos below by the way. Yeah, I've never been in the church before. When we came here before, it was, um, I think, during... No, no, it wasn't during lockdown, um, but it wasn't open. Um, but it's lovely. This is Victorian, you know me. I'm seeing a few more Victorian churches lately. And today I feel a bit naked. I've got to put my earrings in. Um, <laughs> I've been wearing earrings since I was about 17, and I feel really naked. I, I was si sidetracked before I came out and forgot to put them in. So, uh, yeah, have to be earring-free today in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's quite a big church, but small in its perimeter. But we are here for another reason as well, which I didn't know before uh, we came, when we came here last, we didn't know about this uh, certain grave of this uh, quite a famous person back in the 1970s, but we'll come to that in a minute. Even in the church, you've got the constant hum of the A24 traffic that goes down to Chichester and the uh, south coast. But as we're in South Homewood, we're also going to go to North Homewood, for another Victorian church nearby. And we have lunch at the Arcourt Manor, which I've been to, this will be the third time I've been there in the last year or so. It's a lovely, lovely pub uh, along the A25. Oh, very peaceful. Even with the traffic, it's very peaceful. So even if you're not religious, you can come into these places for quiet contemplation. People will say to me, Mark, you're going to so many churches, but you're not religious. I'm spiritual, if I can use that word. I, don't un I personally, I've said before, I don't understand organised religion. It, is, it just seems personally to me terribly man-made, and I mean man-made. But each to their own, whatever makes you a better person, I suppose. bit bright here so yeah this is Major Road Hawkins um, who was the architect of the church over at um, North Homewood but he's buried here with this lovely Celtic cross this is what I wanted to show you this is the grave of Mary Ruth Quilter Mary Ruth Quilter Born in 1945 and died aged 33 by suicide. Many of you who will remember back to the 1970s will know her as Mary Mill Millington, the uh, adult performer Mary Mill Millington. Yeah, she committed suicide at her home in Walton on the Hill, not far from here where we've done videos from. Very, very tragic tale. She's trying to reform the whole um, attitude towards adult entertainment and uh, nudity and that kind of thing. She was really quite pioneering in her time. But she was constantly hounded by the police, um, by solicitors, trying to ruin her. 
and it just got too much for her once and um, yeah, she committed suicide. Her mother died in 1976 after a long illness and she's actually buried, uh, Mary's buried with her mother, which is really, she was really close to her mother. Such a tragic tale, really is. I mean, you look back on those 1970s, I mean, I was a kid at the time, but I didn't really sort of know what was going on, but um, you look back at those times in the 1970s, and it did seem quite cheesy and seedy, didn't it? You know, the old uh, um, low-budget sort of comedy films as well. But Mary took it to the next level, Le- took it to the next level, and very popular she was too. At uh, a funeral, there was 200 uh, mourners, 200 mourners, OK, on this really hot day, 30 degrees today, loving it. We've had a whole string of long, uh, hot weather over the last couple of weeks. It's been great. We're going to go down the road, or up the road, really, to uh, St John the Evangelist Church in North Homewood. Let's go. Some are streaming over there. So this is St John the Evangelist Church, built in 1874, and consecration was on March the 30th, 1875, by the Bishop of Winchester, where we've just been, of course. Coming from over there, it could be uh, road sweeping, I'm not sure. Well, this is a nice little area. Apart from that, there we go. AD 1874. <laughs> I've seen a lot of these recently. The, all the rectors going back to 1875 down to, was it 1987? I think it goes over to the other plaque there, 2011. Um, but when you go into the old churches and you go right back to Saxon time sometimes uh, with the rectors named and listed, it's incredible. Remember in the other church I was saying about Major uh, Road Hawkin, who was the architect of this church, and he was, obviously we saw his grave uh, over at St Mary Magdalene at South Homewood, but he designed this church, was the architect. Spectacular stained glass windows as well. Sofas, we love it. Sofas in a church, great. Oh, sofas, I love it. How comfortable. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to say farewell to St John the Evangelist Church. Thank you very much for letting us in. I'm going to go down to the Arkle Manor, which I have been to before for lunch.
How does that sound? Well, thank you to Kate who served me in the Arkle Manor. I had a lovely, lovely lunch, really nice. I do recommend coming along here. It's just uh, on the A25 between um, Dorking and Rygate. So, both churches in Upper Homewood and Lower Homewood, and it's been great. Mary Millington's grave. Thanks for watching, and do the old like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>